for you. I thought it would be a cute idea if I did like a DIY Despicable Me costume because who doesn't like Despicable Me? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a DIY Agnes costume, of course, a DIY Minion costume, and a DIY Fluffy the Unicorn costume. These are great last minute costumes. I literally had everything for this in my closet. Comment down below who your favorite Despicable Me character is and we can just go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to teach you guys how to make this really cute and adorable Fluffy the Unicorn costume. First, we're going to make our horn and you're just going to take a piece of paper and you're going to roll it into a cone, glue the ends of that and cut it. Next, we're going to glue the bottom of our cone and stick it on a regular piece of paper and then we're going to cut around it so it makes a really nice flat base. Next, I took a piece of yarn, hot glued it to the top of my cone and then I began wrapping the horn in my yarn and I just glued it to the bottom. And I should have done this part before I actually put the yarn on but I just took some school glue and I covered my horn in the school glue and kind of rolled it in this really pretty golden glitter. And then I wrapped my horn back up in the yarn. You guys could also use some gold craft paper for this, but I didn't have any, so I just decided to glitter my own. Then you're just going to hot glue your horn to a headband. Now we're going to make our little unicorn ears, and you're just going to take a piece of white felt, and you're going to cut it into kind of a dome shape. Then I took some pink sparkly craft paper and just cut smaller little domes out of those and stuck those onto my white felt. Next, I folded the corners of my white felt in to form kind of like a little ear pocket, and then I glued those shut. You want to make two of those because, you know, unicorns have two ears. And cut them kind of like in an arc so that they would fit nicely on my headband and glued those on. Now on to my makeup. First, I just took my Ulta Moisturizer and put that all over my face. Taking my Maybelline Fit Me foundation, I just put that on my face and applied that with a beauty blender. Next, I took my trusty concealer stick and just covered up any blemishes and dark circles. Taking my Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink, I put that on the apples of my cheeks. I then used my Physician's Formula Bronzer to contour my face and set my makeup with the Laura Mercier Setting Powder. As the base, I took my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Silver and I applied that all over my lid and also kind of smudged it out as a highlight color. Because we're a unicorn, we want to look very sparkly, so don't be afraid to smudge some of that underneath your eyes. Next, I took a dark sparkly gray eyeshadow and applied that to my crease. This one is from Pop Beauty. And then I just blended that out even more with my fingers. Also for my Pop Beauty palette, I took this sparkly silver color and applied that to the center of my eyelid. Next, I curled my eyelashes and applied some Stila Mascara, followed by the LAQA and Company Lip Lube in Honey Pot. And finally, I just dusted some loose gold glitter all over my face. For my costume, I just wore this really cute pink crop top from Hollister, and underneath it, I also have a white tank top from Hollister. I wore these white shorts that I got from Hollister, along with these really pretty sandals that I got from The Loft. costume. I took two plastic cups and then just took an exacto knife and cut basically the top parts off of our cup. You want the actual lip of the cup to be touching your face when you put these on that way you don't get any cuts or anything like that. Taking some silver acrylic paint I just painted a couple of coats onto our plastic cups. Taking some stretch magic I just attached both of my cups so it kind of looks like goggles and then I just used a sewing needle to puncture through the cups. And then 
attached another piece of stretch magic to the sides of our goggles so that we can actually put them on our heads. Next, I just took some wooden beads and hot glued those all around my goggles. And then I finished it off with another coat of silver paint. That was pretty much it. These goggles were super inexpensive and really cute and easy. Obviously, minions don't wear makeup, so I just went with a really neutral makeup look. I started out with some caffeine bean eye cream, followed by some Joeer moisture tint. Taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I applied that underneath my eyes and also on any blemishes I had and blended that out. Because I wanted a really natural look, I went with a matte blush by Palladio. And I set my face makeup with the NYC setting powder. Now onto the eyes. All over my lid, I put the Naked 2 color from my Naked Basics palette. Also in my Naked Basics palette, I took Faint and applied that to the crease and blended that out. Because Minions have really big eyes, I went ahead and waterlined my eyes with some white eyeliner. Then I curled my lashes and applied some Stila Mascara. And then again, I took my LAQA and Company Lip Lube that I use for my unicorn costume and applied that to my lips. Like I said, it's a really natural, pretty makeup look, and I think it came out really cute. For our actual Minion costume, I went ahead and just wore a yellow t-shirt. Over that, I wore a pair of overalls. And you guys can see I also have the little G that the Minions have. I just cut that out of some black felt and taped that onto my overalls. And of course, you guys can put on your pair of goggles that we made, and then I just paired it with some black bands. Now for our last costume, I'm going to show you guys how to make a DIY Agnes costume. It's basically the exact same thing as the Minion costume, except you're going to want to wear a gray and yellow striped shirt as opposed to a solid yellow shirt. Because Agnes had them, I went ahead and velcroed some red buttons to my overalls as well. And I put my hair up with a red scrunchie and carried around Fluffy the Unicorn. The makeup for Agnes is pretty much the exact same thing as the Minion's makeup. The only way it was different than the Minions makeup is I just took some black eyeliner and put little freckles on my cheeks and smudged those out. and you would like to do so, go ahead and click that red button down below because it would mean the world to me and you could join our family and it would be pretty cool. And of course, if you guys recreate any of these costumes, be sure to send them to me on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, all my social medias down below. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!